Alright, what is up guys? Of course, always welcome back to Run a Wife of Bell. Today we are against Kalle and uh, yeah, a Swedish guy and uh, he was, um, it's almost once, he wasn't accustomed to smoke on but he had to smoke an OU team and I uh, wonder if I would accept that and I said alright and now they have in front of me I probably shouldn't but uh, yeah, he's for Sweden so you know, it's cool. Hope um, to see more of him on this channel afterwards as uh, I found this guy on Reddit and it's always fun actually seeing people from Sweden who are still battling. Now there is one really good thing here and that is if I get Starmie to work it's gonna absolutely destroy this team. Like hands down there's nothing's gonna be able to stop it. Um, but Dust Club keeps it somewhat out of line and the same thing here with Blastoise which is clearly annoying and uh, there's a lot of bulk involved in this team. So much bulk that I believe my um, yeah, I actually believe um, I'm somewhat in trouble with some of these mons. Um, Dust Club actually looks way tougher than I thought it would feel like, but yeah, yeah. Hmm. I kind of need to make up my mind now, don't I? Uh, we start off with Calamel. I believe she does a right, even though both Rotom Heat and um, I think Rotom Heat is like the worst Pokemon to deal with here. To get her with something like a Powdown. Um, but if you, she leads off with Rolling Heat, I'm gonna U turn. But um, everything else, I'm probably gonna attack it. I think. Because there's one combination I really like, which I can't provide with the Slope Active. Uh, let's see, Heat. Actually, lead off with hip, the Hippo. This is good. Um, let's see if it is Sandstream. Why wouldn't it be? Um, so here it is. Um, I believe th there's a switch out coming here. I think that's the easy play to make. So I'm U turning here. I think taking this energy ball would be devastating. So I think Rodon comes in. Um, actually, Amoongus. Actually, Amoongus. Cool. So there could be a spore coming our way. But I think we force it out with a fire punch. It does plenty here. I think my opponent are potentially aware of this set. And we're both gonna get sandstorm buffed. Black sludge. Okay, it's not a salt vest at least. Because I have two ways of going about this. Either the scale shot in, but I think fire punch is plenty. And uh, let's see. Oh, stays in. This is gonna do huge. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Alright, so we'll at least rest it two turns. And the only perk I have here is that my opponent need to um, switch out to get regenerator. He barely cuts it though, he barely cuts that sandstream. And he scale shot and we're at least pushing that Pokemon down somewhat. So Hippo comes in. Nothing to it. Probably easy rocks, I believe. Which sucks, but at the same time, what can you do, right? <sighs> yeah, scale shotting. Eventually, I'm gonna wake up, but I think we're gonna lead him off to get those stealth rocks up, and uh, I actually want to will him down. So I can send in my Stalin and Retaliate. Because we'll lose this matchup no matter what, but I don't want uh, I don't want to overcomplicate it. Oh, I was like, damn that did a lot. Why did it do so much damage? Oh, only two hits? That's unfortunate. Um Let's see, Earthquake or John? John. Okay, so it's that set. That guy sucks, it's John. Let's see, it's John and uh, Stealth Rock. Probably like neutral attack. Yeah, only Earthquake and uh, Slack Off, right? So. We're swapping this in. Uh, I still want to try to provide um, 
a sack play with them or keep my sash intact so we're gonna go for a spin here as yeah, slack off is like the obvious 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 play and um, and the way i see it like like i said i'm spinning here no one does there's no way dust slope comes in on this right there's a hotter pump coming if you don't want to take it Shams.com. This is this is a mad. Jesus Christ! He actually did it. Uh, no, no, stop. So meteor beam. Um, not sure why I did that actually, but I'm happily taking any damage I can get on this Pokemon. Um. I don't believe it's Trick Room, like I think it's Nightshade. Uh, oh, avoided attack, nice. So this is absolutely working to be one of the best games I ever had. <laughs> and it was Trick Room, so yay me. Um, right, Nightshade, nothing to it. I still think we do like really, really good damage here. Still plus one, so it should be helpful. Yeah. Because, I mean, the combination is Pain Split, right? That's... The only thing I have going against me is... Um... Let's see... That he keeps Night Shading, for sure. It keeps the Trick Room up. I can switch in and out. to uh, Because he's going to try to kill me. That that could be his only real play. And then he tried to Pain Split my Stoutland. That's the way I see it, at least. Pain split, pain split, pain split. He could be rest, call mine, I guess. We live, pain split, nice. You know, you don't get everything right every time, but sometimes, sometimes you just, you just feel you're doing the right thing. So he just decided to sack it, which is absolutely incredible for us. It still means that Hippo is ferocious and annoying. But... Um, yeah. I mean, I have nothing to say. It would have been nice if, if I hit that meter beam, this, I would not have made this place. Because there would be no reason for me to do them. Now it's whether or not, like, out of him, I probably send in my... Uh, Hip out on and slack off kill me. Goes to Rotom. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I think I assume him to be scarfed. Right? Yeah, we do this play. Um, I mean, it dies to Stealth Rock, but rather have it as potential sack play. Thunderbolts, all right. And that'll do. I'm in range. Let's go scale shotting and Will O Wisp. Okay. It's not the worst. I would just rather have it on my south than anything else. The only thing I kind of regret is that he was, of course, not scarfed. Hard would have been nice connecting that on this guy. But instead, we are getting ourselves little bit of the screws. Gonna go for gunk shot just to get as much damage as possible in there. Potentially getting him uh, poisoned. Let's see, come on, get something right. Light screen. Oh wait, so it's a screener. So will o wisp. Let's see. Let's think about this. 
We saw Will-O-Wisp, Thunderbolt, should have overheaten. I'm counting my blessings right now. Oh, was that crit? Or just damage? Just damage, cool. Thunderbolts, knocking me out, and uh, I kind of want to bait that Will-O-Wisp, don't I? It might be risky. A little bit. But I think I could do alright if I get it. I really don't want him to go for an <laughs> overheat here. Because then I believe I'm screwed. Oh, I'm faster. Never mind. Ah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's okay. Um... Hmm. I know I straight up lose to Hupauna anyway. 100 cannons. So yeah, this could be like a thing. Alright, we'll second this and see what he wants to create. Because the way I see it, if he shell smashes, which is clearly a thing, um, yeah, shell smash and white herb for sure. This is pleasant. And white herb. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good at all. This is not good. We are so screwed right now. I take every ship I can get now, right now. Like this is this is it. Skull, right, cool. Take those. Not with ease, but you know, I'll take whatever I can get right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. I don't care right now. Wow. Shit. Um, Galeth did not want to deal with that. He absolutely said no. I'm through with you. I'm through with your mother. <laughs> You're going down. And it absolutely went down. Um, now the thing is here. Let's see. We have a power down, we have extra left. So we have a lot of problems on our hand. I can still set up a tailwind. Basically, I lose nothing by attacking here. If I'm... Let's see. Spore. Yeah, of course. I lose a little bit by staying in. Mm -mm -mm. I still want a sack play. Green. Let's see, is it enough? It actually was, so I, maybe it was the wrong play from him, but at the same time, I kind of I understand why he did the way he did. And uh, let's see, do I have more sandstorms in me? I really hope so. But right now, we are in trouble, but at least this retaliate is going to be helpful. <sighs> Damn, I really wish I got Stoutlin burned, because then I would just lock myself in and just go for a Tailwind and be really nasty. But now I don't have that option. Thing is though, like... He knows how good Among Us is here, right? Yeah, exactly. I would absolutely not do anything but this play. 
thing is though, I think Hippo takes these hits well. That is whether or not that's well enough. Yeah, because he has a very nice. So we can slack off through this if he wants to. I really need somehow to get a soul stance up with my with my sand slash. Right now, that Among Us looks to be just about right. Who are you Johnny on? Coward. Alright, let's see what he decides to do. He has a really free switch in into Among Us. He decides to take that route, which is nice, but at the same time, ah, it's gonna spore through me, isn't it? Right now, I really wish I had Mega or Giga Impact or something like that. Let's see, we're starting this. That did alright. There's a spore. I really wish spore could miss. That would have been incredibly nice. We have had sleep time, that would also be awesome. But the way I see it now, like he's gonna switch out, there will be nothing to it. And uh, my play has to be second Southland. Try to get that free soul stance. Oh, okay. Aggression, I like it. We might have a shot actually. East Earthquake, nothing to it. And um, I'm setting up this Tailwind, going for Sword Stance. None of the remaining Pokemon that are active against me here are able to... Um, like, the only way he beats me is if he's sashed. Which could be a real thing, but he was much, much more rather an absolute bastard and go for Gigantamax. Ooh, you hate to see it. Like I said, you hate to see it. So here comes a Max Steel Spike. It's gonna boost his defense. And I need to really, really reconsider whether or not I won't beat him anyway. Like, do I want to take a shot here and actually... Soul Stance first. Try to survive the Max Quake. Because I can't boost myself anyway. And without a boost, I'll lose anyway. So, yeah, we sword stance here, see what happens. First of all, we're actually faster, which is nice. Like I said, I'm feeling he could be sashed. Max Quake. It's gonna boost his special defense, I believe. And we do manage to take that hit. And uh, now we pray he isn't sashed. Please don't be sashed, right? These guys usually are sashed. That's the problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stall the timer now. Kale. Kale, please. Please, 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 please. Come on, I think he is. 
Why are people doing this? This is awful, isn't it? I can't believe I'm faster, by the way. That's actually super strange. Ah, oh, this is bad. Maybe he's in Sash then, and uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, if he isn't, then it just means that I win. Let's see. Or he can just be playing me, thinking I maybe have a shot. I just can't believe I'm faster. Well, yeah, because of Tailwind, I'm dumb. Max Quake, let's see now. Let's see. No, he was sashed. He was playing me. He was playing me. No, he. No! I won! Hey, I won! Like, it doesn't matter if he stalls the timer. I absolutely win here. He. Like I said, I don't. I don't approve of this whatsoever, as I think it's a really, really boring way. And if you're watching this, Kelly, honestly, shame on you. Because just because I win the game, you just have don't have to do this and try to preserve some of these words in the thin. This is such a bad practice, and just seeing that this is something that is portrayed and actively being done bothers me a whole lot. Come on, send it out already. Because no matter what the um, like the end result says here that you know I lost, I clearly won. So yeah, he couldn't beat it, which means Sandslash is incredible. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why people do, do this because it makes for really bad content. So Kale, take the loss, be a man. Be a real player, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Clearly, you saw we made it through, it just was a really shitty opponent. We have those sometimes, and uh, we can just really laugh at their meager attempts of reserving a win they really didn't deserve. So, I take this victory, even though we said I lost, I clearly know I won. <laughs> and Kale, <laughs> poor guy, shame on you. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys.